Welcome to the video tutorial of the Radix Read software, which is a wonderful free application that has been developed for the RD1212 Advanced Geiger Counter. The primary use for this program is to transfer the data you have collected, the measurements you took with your Geiger Counter, from your unit, from the Geiger Counter, onto your computer. Now, once the data is in your computer, you can build a chart out of it, which of course will help you to visualize the data and will just make it simpler to work with, or you can share those measurements with the rest of the world by assigning them to a specific geographical location on Google Maps. Now, all of that is relatively easy to do, but the first thing you would need is to set your Geiger counter to actually record, to actually save the data uh, you have been collecting. You do so by going into the menu, and once there, simply scroll down to data collection, set it to on, and then assign recording period. Now, recording period simply means how often the unit will be saving the data. It could be every minute, could be every 10 minutes, could be every 2 hours, and so on. Please keep in mind that the RD1212 can store up to 160 measurements at one time. Hence, uh, if you would like your unit to continuously record data over the course of 3 hours, uh, set the recording period to 1 minute. If, on the other hand, you would like the unit to operate over the course of the entire week, uh, set the recording period to one hour or 30 minutes. Uh, once that is done and you have gone out and you collected your data and then uh, linked your Geiger counter to your computer via the USB cable provided, you should see connected to PC message appear on the Geiger counter and then you simply launch the software which of course can always be downloaded for free from our website quartarat.com and then uh, transfer the data from the Geiger counter into the program by clicking the reading icon up here. It's done. Now you can select either some of the data points or you can say uh, you can select all of them by check marking this little option up here. And then I can assign the data to a specific geographical location. I can scroll in and out of the map by using the mouse scroll button. It works exactly like Google Maps would. Now I found my location. This is where the data was collected right off the Lincoln Highway in New York. I'm going to click the pinhead icon and I'm going to set the data point. Now once that location has been set, uh, I can save it for my own purposes by clicking this little icon up here which uh, will save the data either to file. Saving to file uh, means it's just going to be for your own personal use. That file can be a text document or it can be uh, an Excel spreadsheet. Or I can share it with everyone else who will use Radix Read software by saving it online. Now I'm going to do just that. I'm going to save it online. And now please keep in mind that there is no way to actually undo that once you save data online. Uh, it's there permanently. So please keep that in mind. Uh, once that is done, I can plot a chart. I'll click the chart option up here. Then I will click and drag a box around my data point. Click collect all data box here and here we go. I have all the data I have gathered over the span of several hours and uh, the data point is there for everyone else to see. If you have any additional questions or clarifications uh, please feel free to call us. The phone number is 201-877-2002 or you can always find our customer support email on our website, quartarat.com. Uh, thank you for your attention, and uh, please write us if you have any questions, problems. We are always happy to help.